Any container can have multiple columns inside the container, and it just simply flows to the very end of the container. Now, in some cases, I may have copy inside a container. I have too much copy inside the container here. And I would like to have my copy on this portion of the page, but I want to have a much longer container that's a totally different size. Well, clearly, if I have a container that's divided into multiple sections, they're all going to be the same width. So if I want different size containers in different locations, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a link. So it flows from one existing container to another one, or even to another page. If I have a long article to flow in over multiple pages, I want all the containers to be connected. So if I make edits, it's automatically going to flow through it instead of individual containers that have a certain amount of text that don't flow. So this is how I create text links. Whenever I see that red plus at the lower right hand side of my container, that tells me I have more content in my container than I can handle. I either have to open the container up or I have to create a link to another container so it can flow in there. With my selection tool active, I'm going to click on the container. Then I click on that red plus. When I click on that red plus, that red plus goes away. I see a little arrow now coming out of that right there, and I get what's called a loaded cursor. And a loaded cursor now allows me to draw another text container, just like I drew the first one, but I can draw this anywhere on the page or anywhere on another page, and this container will now link to the new container that I'm drawing. So I'm going to zoom out here. I'm going to draw a container over here, much different size, and there it is. So this container now has this little plus coming out of it right there. And if I click on my other container, that has a little plus going in. How do I know these are connected? Well, we're going to turn on the spaghetti that connects it all together. And that's under the View menu. Under Extras, and it's going to be Show Text Threads. Show Text Threads come up. These text threads will only show if you turn that preference on and you have any one of the containers selected. If you click off the containers and none of the containers are selected, you will not see those text threads. Got to have that preference turned on and the container selected. With that container selected, you will see the connection point between these individual containers. I can link as many containers as I want to anywhere throughout my document. First page, second page, I can skip a page. I can have five containers linked on a page, no difference. So I have this container here because I wanted a very narrow one in here and have it be very long for my layout, and I have more text. So I'm going to again click on that overflow, and I'm going to get a third container, which I'm then going to put over here, and I'm going to make horizontal, and there it is, and that container has overflow. And then I'm going to draw another one over here, and there's all my copy. And I can see everything linked together. Great. So with it all linked together here, I can see how this works. Any container, if I close it up, simply pushes to another existing container. If I open up the container, everything flows back in. It's all linked together. It's like water. Push it in, pull it out, works just fine. I can move these containers anywhere I want to, but be very careful when you're doing this. If you ever put your Christmas lights away or had a ball of yarn and you really didn't do a very good job, you can kind of get everything jumbled up. So having these things, you'll always notice it always comes out the lower right-hand side and always enters in the upper left-hand side. I have four containers. How hard could it be? Well, let me go ahead and I'm going to move these around here, and all of a sudden, that's what you get. And it's like, wow, you know, you could really get confused really quickly with everything going everywhere. And the answer is, yes, you can. Okay? So when you are flowing a copy in, we're going to get to flowing copy in. I like to flow copy in and link text to containers. We're going to put one story together at a time. Each story will be in its own set of containers, and then it's end, and we start a whole new set of containers. I'm not going to link everything from the front to the back. I'm not going to have a 512-page novel and link every single page together. No. Section by section, chapter by chapter, all that. I have four containers on the page here, and it's already crazy.